body right now. Yeah, dude. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. This one that was almost the Look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like an angry. That was crazy. Yeah, I one. saw your line. Oh, I got one too. You got one? Yes. Double. <laughs> Double. Let's go. They were there, dude. They loaded their hair. I heard that. Oh, dude, mine's big too. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We got some bass fishing today. We're just gonna be doing some pure fishing, trying to catch some big fish. I really wanna try out some top waters today, which we're gonna go over. But I got my boy Fletcher with me what's today. Going and, uh, on? We're gonna try to catch him, man. It's gonna be a fun day. It's hot as can be out here right Brutal, now. Guys. The last couple of days has been it's been bad. Like the heat heat index has been between 105 and 110. And it's been brutal. Like it's you get out here, you're just pouring sweat and but if we're catching fish today, yeah. I mean I'm down, man. That's I'm down to take a little bit of sweat to catch some big fish. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into this. Go ahead and show you the top waters that we're gonna be trying out. I just got some in the mail, so let's go ahead and take a peep and try to catch some fish. All right, Fletcher, hand me the goods that All I'm gonna right. be trying out. Here you go, guys. This Look is what that. we're gonna be working with today. At least Noah is. I don't know how well the top water bite's gonna go for him, but he's gonna uh, see if he can call up some big fish over this deep. And we're not cutting this intro, by the way. No. This is not happening. We're gonna adjust to the situations, <laughs> but this is what I'm wanting to do. So I just got an order in the mail from Six Cents. I got a speed wake right here. This is in a natural color. I love that color, especially today with the sun, man. That's gonna really glow off really good. I just don't know if they're gonna come up and eat it, but it's, it, I'm never throwing the speed wake too, so this is gonna be interesting. And then I have the catwalk, and this is in a little bluegill pattern, the little walking style bait. I haven't thrown the catwalk as well, so we're gonna be trying these out today, seeing how they walk, I'm seeing how they move, and this is a speed wake, so you're gonna be able to, if you guys don't know what a wake bait is, it pretty much goes across the surface just like that, except this one you're gonna be able to reel it at the maximum speed. So, we're gonna go ahead and try it. Then that little bluegill color, I don't know if you guys see, but look at all these bluegill just swimming like crazy up here. So we might get lucky and hook into some big ones, but if we don't, we're gonna adjust and tie on something else. What you doing, Flesh? I'm gonna see if uh, we can get one of these little bluegills with the net. You think you can? Know. I don't know. Maybe, look maybe how these. fast they are, dude. They're, they're, they're on to me. <laughs> they're already on to you. Well, I gotta just kinda like put it in here and just like, just chill. Now you just gotta let them know that just they're chill. about to get scooped. And... Yeah. Just let him just like come hang out. <laughs> just come come on into the net. <laughs> Was it a dog? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, you ready to go fishing, man? Let's do it, brother. Uh, what do you think the biggest one is gonna be today? Uh, I'm saying we're definitely gonna get. We, some we gotta shoot. We gotta shoot for a five pounder. I'm shooting for a five. I think a five is definitely doable. Um, we're definitely gonna get some threes. There's no doubt about that. Like that's just gonna happen. And we'll probably get a four. So I'm, I'm saying like four is probably a safe bet. Five or six is definitely on the table. But we're just gonna have to get out there and see what happens. All right, so we brought one rod out today. We actually used this in the last live bait video. I gotta cut off the rig. But um, so my Pro TI mock crush rod and I got fluorocarbon on it. I don't like throwing top waters on fluorocarbon by any means, except for a popper. I feel like I can kill it with that and a buzz bait it's cool with. But um. Yeah, anyways, I just want to get it out of my chest because I did have a braided combo, but it was my frog rod and it's just too stiff for what I'm going to be throwing. But I can tell you, the first bait I want to try out is the speed wake. Let's take this thing out of the package and see what this bad boy looks like. By the way, if you guys want to get a 10% discount, I will pop my code up on the screen. You can go to the website and check it out and see if you want to go catch some big fish on the same bait next time you go fishing. But look at that bad boy, man. That thing looks so realistic. I love that color. I believe that's in Shad Scent. Let me look. Shad Burst. This is Shad Burst, not Shad Scent. That is a beautiful little pattern, and we're going to try it out today. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to eat it, but uh, we'll see. So let's go ahead and tie it on. And that's just a little half ounce. Here we go. Let's do a little cast test and see what this thing's looking like. So this is a speed wake. So it's like a wake bait at the top. Usually a regular wake bait, you reel a little bit slower. But this one is designed to reel it fast. So let's go ahead and reel this guy in. Let's see. Look at that, dude. Thanks for us. Look at that right there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dude, does that not look amazing? Oh, my God. Dude, if we find a bust in that thing, oh, we dude. turn them off. Look at that. Look at that right there. And the, it, it's just the perfect color, like natural color. Yeah, it's yeah, nasty. 
I think Adam's been throwing this one a lot. Same color too. Has he had much luck with it? Yeah, I think he caught caught a few really good ones on it. That thing, that thing looks so good. I love how you can reel it fast too. It's gonna work perfect with this fluoro. Let's go ahead and get it to work, guys. Let's uh, make sure our drag set more importantly, and hopefully they're gonna come up for it today. All right, so we're gonna try this catwalk. I'm uh, I know I haven't thrown this speed weight much. I'm, I just think we're gonna have much better luck with this, especially in this place. I was hoping to have one just come up and hammer it, but I really think, you know, when we come out here, we usually fish with bottom baits, like big jigs, worms, and you know, Fletcher's throwing a little swim bait, some below the surface, especially like today. And um, I just don't know if it's gonna happen here. I just wanted to try it in the hopes that they would eat it, but. Well, we might tie it back on here in a little bit, but we're going to try to catwalk and see if a walking style bait to get them to come up. We got the catwalk. You guys know we fish with the dogma. We fish with the mag dog. Now we got the catwalk. And uh, we're going to see if we can catch. Look at that thing. Oh, my God. Okay. I've been wanting to try this bad boy. And I think this is going to smoke them. This fluorocarbon is digging it underwater with a long cast. That's what I was worried about. We're gonna actually cut this top water off and put on a jig. The conditions today just aren't allowing me to do this. So, um, you know, we're going to cut this off and tie on a jig and just see if we have any better luck. That's usually what I smoke them on out here, but just wanted to try some of these new baits and the top water ass. I don't think it was the best for today. So this is a standard old black and blue hybrid jig. I'm gonna tie this bad boy on, half ounce. Tie an old uni knot. And we are good to go from there. We're gonna start skipping under some of these trees and see if we can pull out a couple big ones. Got an old red, blue, and black trailer on there right now so we're gonna see how that works out oh there you go he was running with it so far oh yeah buddy god first one of the day yeah like crazy today dude that was such a light bite though like he was just running with it. It's like the exact opposite like... <laughs> of what I did. They hammered this thing. Well, he might have hammered it when it hit the bottom. He barely hooked. He's not big. But, dude, he, like, went 10 foot in the other direction I by the time the I clicked the line. It's a pretty little fish, though. Not bad, about a pound and a half on the jig. Good little switch up. Like I said, throw in the top water, switch it over to a slower bait. And a uh, pretty little bass. Got our first one today. So let's keep her going. There he is. Popped him. Dude, look at him running. Dang, Dude, they run 10 foot to the off. left. This might be a better one. Yeah, be better than the last one. Look how dark he is, bro. He was in that pipe. Oh, yeah. See how dark that fish that is? is dark fish. <laughs> right here, guys. Got another one. Look how dark. Oh, man. He's been sitting off in that pipe. Beautiful fish on that jig. Look at that. See the dark color in this bass compared to the other ones? It's crazy. He was sitting up in that pipe. It makes his body so dark. Look at that. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It? It's like a black bass. That's awesome. It's got like that little gold glare to him. Cool. Right there. Right yep. Let's see. See if old sure big thing's gonna get crushed. Bertha is home. Let's try to get a double here. Yeah. If they're here. Oh god. 
took the water out of my hand, dude. <laughs> if they're here, dun, dun, dun. that was a lot. That was the hardest knock on my door. <laughs> I got another one running with me. Oh, I just missed one. That was almost a double hit. Dude, that was insane. That was insane. Oh, right when I said that, dude, one just. Fletcher just missed one. I missed one before this. These fish are loaded right here. I had him barely hooked. Dude, they're just hitting and running a mile. It's about a two pounder. Gotta love it. We're gonna throw right back in there and try to catch another one. That first hit, guys, when I was like, if somebody's home, that was, <laughs> dude, that was the hardest hit Barge I probably had door. this year, dude. That was crazy. Now, that man knocked over the front <laughs> door, dude. That, is anybody home? <laughs> dude, just destroyed the door. There's no door remains. Obliterated. Just. SWAT team entrance. That was. There it is. That's a freaking good one. That's the biggest one today. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I think that bottom bait's gonna be a little bit better over here. Yeah. There we go. All right. I'm gonna switch it up, guys. God, they are eating this jig. That little creature bait really quick. Noah's getting them on the jig. Look at that, guys. That's a good fish. Pretty skinny for what he is, though. Look at that. He should be like a three pounder, but he's just Look so at that, skinny. Like dent he has on his back. Other right. side. Oh, what? Look at this, guys. Look at that. That's weird. He's got like a big hole in his back, but that fish could easily be three pounds if he was fatter. He felt really big. I got pecked by a bird. <laughs> he took my trailer, so we gotta put one of them on and get back in there. There's a lot of fish right there. All right, guys, just got a new trailer on. Let's see if we can catch another one. That was two fish back to back. Had that crazy bite. What a day right here. Tried out that top water and they just weren't eating it. You know, they wanted something on the bottom, something a little bit slower. Oh my God, I got another one. He's hung up in that pipe. Do I need to go there? Yeah, look at the pipe moving, bro. Oh, I got him, I got him. Got him yeah. <laughs> Dude, they are freaking eating this hybrid jig. Like this dumb, dummy. They're good fish too, they're not small. Look, I got him in the bottom lip too. Look at that. There you go, dude. That's a good fish. About to poop on you down there. Oof. That was a good bass right there. God, dog. Thank you, bud, for biting your fat, chunky dude, son. Now we are getting on him with the big jigs today. Gotta freaking love it. Look at that one. That's a, almost a three pounder. It's about two and a half, two and three quarter. Fat, thick fish. Let's get him back in. That's three fish right out there. They are munching. Like, I can't even get, I can't even hop the jig a couple times before a fish already has it. There's another one on there. That's insane. <laughs> I'm gonna keep throwing the same cast until they stop. <laughs> they I mean, heck. <laughs> I mean, dude, I had four bites just back to back to back right there. Three fish. When it has this big tree that's right here under the water and right here on the end, guys, it's like little tiny rocks. They're not huge. Those bass are on them rocks right there. You got one? Yeah, I saw your line hop. Oh. oh. It must just be loaded on that spot. Yeah, dude. Uh-oh. Got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a good one. Oh, yeah. That's a good fish. Not bad. Golly. They are just smoking the jig, guys. Like, it was ridiculous. His dad's throwing it, too. He's on another boat. His dad is smoking them. Awesome. Uh, his dad is smoking them on the jig, too. They're just loving the hybrid jig today. I don't, I don't know what it is. They want it today. That is a pretty fish, man. That's a pretty one. Look at the colors on that guy. About two pounds. It's a pretty fish. Nice. Pretty markings on that bass. Fishing offshore on this stuff. They're just loaded. This is the thing. You might not get a bite for a second, but usually when you do, you just start catching them. You know, they're just stacked up. So let's see if we can catch another one. All right, guys. So let's talk a little bit about how we've uh, been working this jig today. Um, we've just been throwing it out there, letting that thing hit the bottom. And um, all this stuff on the bottom, there's been some brush pop. There it is. Oh gosh. No, he broke me off. Uh, I couldn't move him, dude. I got you on the concrete. He did. That was a big one. Ah, oh, dude. Right when I was about to explain what I'm doing. Yep. Yeah, Look, feel how afraid my line is. It's unbelievably afraid. Oh yeah, dude, that's exactly what he did. I felt it rubbing and I was afraid. I was like, it's either gonna stay, stay put or break off really quick. Well, that is not what you want to happen but you know we're gonna get back in there see if we can catch another one all right 
let's go back to what I was talking about. Oop, I didn't even cut my tag in. Hold up. I have not done that in a very long time. Pretty much what I've been doing, just throwing it out there, letting this bait hit the bottom and just really giving it some pops. You know, there's a bunch of brush down there. There's some of those like big pipes that we were talking about down there as well. The thing is, you know, just kind of creeping it along that. So, you know, I'll hop it over a tree branch, let it fall within the tree. Usually that's when uh, the fish is gonna bite. And then when you hook set, you gotta pull that fish out of there. So I'm throwing 17 pound fluorocarbon, something a little bit more thick, but uh, it's pretty basic the way I'm working it. You know, just throwing it out there, hopping down on the bottom, creeping it along that structure down there and uh, those fish are hitting it mainly on the fall though when i bring it over that branch it starts to fall down boom that's when they've been hitting it so let's try to catch a couple more come on man we got the lettuce we got the pickles got the tomato he's full grown son got that egg on there too some cheese action yeah come on big bass I know you want a full grown meal. Put you a little ketchup on that, man. I remember when I used honey honey mustard as a bait condiment. I'm serious. Okay, what is wrong with me today? I like get on the boat and I'll like have my skipping dialed in perfectly and then I'll get on yours and then I like gotta readjust and then I'll get it perfectly. And then I'll get back on my boat and then I'm like, it's like a different range. Should be one right on there. They were there a second ago. Got him. Yeah. Go. Right one off. Oh, that's a good one. That might be my best one today. Right there on the edge of it where I caught those other, where I had those four bites earlier. That's a good one. It's fighting really good. These fish are strong. Oh yeah, that's my best one today. Easy. Look at that one. That's a, good one. That's a good one. Look at that. Yeah. Got a three pounder. All right, guys, just got that fish on the jig. Right there, the same old guy, the hybrid jig, killing it. Got a green pumpkin trailer on there. Um, but it's still doing the job. And these fish have been really skinny today, but this is one of the fattest. But it's still like a hybrid of, he's not like super chunky. Still waiting on one of those super big footballs, but that is a beautiful fish right there. They fight good. You gotta love that right there. They're just hanging on the bottom today. You just gotta throw that jig in there, work it really slow, kinda pop it a few times. We're hitting our line, hitting our rods. Catch you a good old fatty right there. Let's get her back in. There she goes. Yes, sir. That is Should be some more there. <laughs> same fish is coming. Yeah. I'm waiting on that day, dude. My hook's out on the same fish. I'm waiting on the day there's just like an angry. That was crazy. Yeah, I one. saw your line. Oh, I got one too. You got one? Yes. Double. <laughs> Double. Let's go. They were there, dude. They load their hair. Oh, your dad. Oh, dude, mine's big too. That's the best one of the day. That's the best one. See, you got to get one now. Oh. Dave. Dave, you got triple up. Oh, dude. Oh, God, that's four pounds. That's a four pounder. We got two stuns. They both four pounds, yeah. I think we got eight pounds of fish. Oh yeah, we both got two good cool. ones. You want to get them both in the net? Um, yeah. You want to throw them both in? Yeah, we'll, we'll scoop them both. Look at that, dude. That's... Oh, you got we one got too. Up. Dude, they're loaded. Up. Let's go. Here, I'm going to bring yours up. Oh, God. Oh, dude, they're two four pounders. Oh, dude. That That's is crazy. Holy oh, smokes. man. Look at that, guys. That is a good fish. We were just talking about the fat ones and we just got them. <laughs> dude, they are loaded. Why are they so loaded on this spot right Look here? Look at that. Look at this. They're dang near twins. Look at Jeez, that. Louise. We should weigh them. Do you have a scale? Or, oh. They're skinnier than I thought, man. They're just. They are. <sighs> He's not quite four. I don't think they're four. They're definitely uh -uh. three something. That's this like... is three and a half all day. Oh, for sure. Gosh. I <laughs> thought we doubled up Gracious. on fours. Your line, the way that that fish hit you was crazy. Look at that. Double up. That's you got awesome. that scale foot? You want to see what they weigh? Yeah. They're just hammering it. Those are two good ones right there. That's what we've been waiting on. <laughs> This thing ain't working for. We gotta Not get a new work. scale. I know you guys pumped about it. We gotta get a new one. That's a but good fish. I promise you guys, these fish are probably mid to high threes. Oh, yeah. These are really easy. Healthy, beautiful beast. Yeah, let's just get back in there and catch another one. That's what I'm saying, bro. We can weigh them all day we want, but that, that's a three and a half pounder all day. I don't even have to. Don't have to explain myself. Don't have to explain that one. Those are two good fish. <laughs> that was cool. And Dave got one. That was I know, legit. Man, that is something Triple else. Triple up. 
<laughs> yeah, they're biting on the bottom good when you find them like that. That's crazy. <laughs> yep. Well, the thing is, it hasn't really been sunny the last few weeks. It's been so overcast, and I feel like now these fish are finally positioned. They're right. They're locked. They're locked on. Cause when I was going on the river, man, it. Mm. Yeah.